So, I bet you're looking for the cutest stair tutorial you could find on the interwebs. Well, guess who came to the right place? Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this super cute dare look. Super cute as in, you can't wear it and you can't not be cute. So, do you want to get this look? Well, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and leave me a comment down below on what you're gonna be for Halloween, and just keep watching this video. Pretty simple, I'd say. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with my base makeup ready and my eyebrows. I have both of those videos linked down below, and we're gonna go straight into our eyes. So first I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. I'm gonna go really heavy on the highlight. I'm gonna pick up this color in my Jaclyn Hill palette and just put that directly underneath my brows. I'm only lightly gonna blend that in, not like I usually would. So it's pretty heavy on the eye still. Pretty, pretty pigmented. Something that you wouldn't do on a regular basis, but it looks pretty cute here. Now I'm gonna go into this dark shade in my Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna blend that all into my art on both eyes really, really well. And I'm gonna drag it down onto the sides of my nose as well this is a pretty easy eye look that's one of my favorite things about this it's super easy and like I said you can't wear it and not be cute I gotta say this color as nose contour works pretty well my nose was snatched after this so next I'm gonna go into this really light shade on the first row of that Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna apply that all over my eyelids this is actually my typical everyday go-to eye makeup look it's so cute you can't wear it and not be cute basically is what I'm saying. See it. <laughs> now I'm gonna use my Ico eyeliner and I'm gonna start on the outer edges and I'm gonna measure out how long I want my wing to wing out and I'm gonna drag that right into my tear ducts. I'm going pretty thick on the wing eyeliner today. I feel like this makes the look really, really, really dare like, I'd say. Cute? Yeah, something like that. Now we're gonna go into that inner tear ducts and we're just gonna drag that liner down. We're gonna extend it just a little bit until it satisfies your dairy needs. <laughs> Get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. So I'd say drag it down right until it hits about the end of your nose contour. Then you're gonna go in with your Kiss Retractable Eyeliner in the color Snow White. And I'm just gonna line up those two little lines that we extended from our wing liner. Now I'm gonna go in with this NYX Jumbo Pencil. I could have used that same Kiss Professional liner, but this pencil just covered a lot more area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my bottom eyelid. I'm gonna go all the way down to where those little bags under my eyes stop. I'm gonna use the retractable eyeliner just to neaten that up a little bit, get a little more precision there. Next, I'm gonna go in with this palette that I got on Amazon that has this white powder in it. I'll put the link for this palette down below. And I'm just gonna set that white color underneath my eyes, just so it won't crease or go anywhere. Well, this part is pretty hard to explain, but literally, I'm just gonna go line under that white liner, and I'm gonna connect it to the liner that we dragged out before. I only line the parts that would be my tear ducts quote unquote with that liner now the rest of the white I'm gonna line with this dark eyeshadow the shade wasn't actually dark enough so I do go in and darken it up a little bit after I clean it up with my LA girl pro concealer as you see me doing right here and I just go over that line with a darker shadow Next, I'm going to use the same palette, but I'm going to use it as a contour today because I wanted my contour to be a little bit darker, and I didn't have a contour that was dark enough, but light enough, if you get what I'm saying. I'm going to use this color in my Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm just going to contour all the areas that I'd usually contour on my face, so my cheekbones, my forehead, my jawline, and just underneath my lip to make my lips a little bit more pouty. One of my favorite little tricks to do. Now I'm going to go in with a powder brush and blend that out. Now I'm going to go into this little paint palette that I bought from Spirit Makeup and I'm going to lightly tap my beauty blender that I used to do my face earlier into this white shade and place that under my eye just to make it a little bit more highlighted and more dare-like. Now I'm going to line my lips with my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner as I would usually but instead today I'm only going to line my upper lip and fill that in. 
Now I wanted to deepen up the contour of my cheeks a little bit, so I'm going in with a darker brown from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm just going to chisel my cheekbones a little bit and blend that out really well. I'm gonna go back in with that NYX. Oh, there it goes. Now I'm gonna go back in with that NYX suede, NYX jumbo pencil, and I'm gonna apply a few white dots on my forehead and my cheekbones. I put about five dots on each side of my forehead and about the same on my cheekbones, not really paste, placing them specifically, but more just like all over and where I see empty spaces. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that little button nose that all the animals have. My favorite part, if you haven't watched my bunny makeup tutorial, you'll know that this is my favorite part. So I'm using this ColourPop liquid lipstick and I'm going to attempt to make my nose. I used the color and chill and it was just a little bit too light for me. So I went ahead and just put that on my lips, my upper lip, and then I went back in and put the rest on my nose as a base for eyeshadow that I put on top of it. As you can see me do here this tutorial is a lot easier to watch than it is to explain I'd say but it's a pretty easy one I'd say pretty pretty easy so I'm gonna put that on the tip of my nose as well as the tip of each of my nostrils and then going on top of it with that eyeshadow on top of it with this dark brown eyeshadow I really wanted this look to be more brownie on my skin tone than it was black on my brown skin tone so yeah, that's the reason for me using these methods rather than easily going in with a black paint or something, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to be a little bit of a softer, more doughy looking look. So I decided I would go in and line just the outer parts of my lower lips. And then I did apply some chapstick, which just like brightened it up took the color off a little bit and just left the brown to be on the top lip only as you can see and while still having the bottom lip cute and lined lastly i'm going to use the brush that i used to apply my nose and i'm going to add some strokes a stroke going from the tip of my nose into the middle of my cupid's bow as well as the sides of my cupid's bow but on the sides i'm going to blend it out really really well just to make my lips look a little more pouty and pushed forward, as a dare's little snaz smout piece would be. I'm just gonna make some two buns in my hair, collecting some front pieces of my hair and just putting those in two buns and pinning it down where I want it to sit. And yeah, that's literally the finished look for this, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you use it for your Halloween costume, be sure to tag me on my Instagram, which is also in the description bar below. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this tutorial was super helpful for you. If it was, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because I love when you guys join this little BFF gang. And yeah, thank you for sticking around with me. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Love ya.